Hey guys, Delt here. I had another comment quest from Koala02 asking for my build ideas on both Battle Bard and Rat Bard. For the sake of this video, I'm actually going to call Rat Bard Buff Ranger because of the recent changes to agility and dexterity. So basically, I'm just going to talk about the builds, their perks, songs, and stats, and then the different strengths and weaknesses that the classes have because they are both very similar and very different from each other in playstyle. So let's start with the Battle Bard. Starting with our perks, we have Charismatic Performance. This is a must pick for any bard build because it lets us skip notes and play songs faster. Reinforced Instruments is next. We're fairly slow in this build because we're stacking health, PDR, and damage. And the whole purpose is to just lower enemies' health with our crossbow and drums as they begin to push us. And then we're going to finish in melee since we can take a few hits. War Song is next because we increase our crossbow and drum damage when playing songs like Accelerando and The Men of Languor. But most importantly, our Falchion hits for over 100 damage with Shriek of Weakness and the right gear. And last, we have Superior Dexterity, and this lets us swap between everything faster. Crossbow and drums, flute and melee, all of our instruments. It's actually an insane perk that a lot of people will probably overlook at first. I know that I did. And starting with the barebone songs for this build, we have Rousing Rhythms to increase all of our stats by two, Beats of Alacrity to give us increased move speed, Aria of Alacrity to give us increased action speed, Ballad of Courage because this gives more physical power and more damage, and then Harmonic Shield because we are stacking PDR and this just gives us even more. After that we have Lament of Languor and Shriek of Weakness. These are basically our battle songs and so we use Lament of Languor to reduce the movement speed of enemies and then we use Shriek of Weakness to reduce their physical power and armor. And then after this the songs can kind of just turn into preference. What I like to do is run Accelerando because this actually gives us a decent amount of move speed back. We're only at 267 right now, which is pretty low, and this will help us either engage or disengage easier. Then I would add Din of Darkness. This isn't for the damage. This is to unstealth rogues. They can still be a problem since we aren't really quick, and so if we hear someone but we don't see them, always just assume it's a rogue. Start playing Din of Darkness. If you unstealth them, immediately end the song and start throwing your drums. You'll actually pick up a decent amount of kills this way, and it really helps out. And then with two memcap left, our choices are really down to either Tranquility or Song of Silence as our last song. I would go with Tranquility. Song of Silence could be good, but again, in this build, we are slow. And so getting into range and then sticking to a wizard or a warlock who probably will outrun you anyway isn't going to be the easiest. So I would just take Tranquility and that could just save on some bandages. And then the last thing for this build is stats and gear. Honestly, what I like to aim for is 130 health, 20% PDR, 25 dexterity, and at least 20 strength. Right here, I am wearing a feathered hat. A straw hat is really great too. I just have the feathered hat because it has knowledge and it has two different max health increases. And the feathered hat I'm actually using for a different gear set right now that I've been running. Other than that, just try to get the stats that I said. Two things that you could change out if you really wanted to are the Regal Gambeson and the Heavy Leather Leggings. This can both be swapped for an Adventurer Tunic or Padded Leggings. The problem with swapping them is you're going to be losing a lot of PDR. The bonus of swapping them is that you'll get some move speed back. The only other thing that I would change about the build that I have on screen right now, um, I didn't spend any money on buying gear or anything, I just kind of used what I had in my stash, is I would change my heavy boots for adventurer boots. Right now the heavy boots that I have on are really good, they give knowledge, fizz power, and I think 5 strength, but I have 0 added dexterity in my build, so I'm not actually hitting that 25 dex. If I swapped the heavy boots for adventurer boots, it would just let me play my songs a whole lot faster. I'd be wasting less time buffing, and I'd be more effective in combat playing Shriek of Weakness and the Men of Languor. And I'm just going to keep letting this play through a little bit to show the rest of the gear. Long story short, you want to try to be as tanky. One other thing that you could possibly swap out are your gloves. If you need some more knowledge because you're running a straw hat, you could use raw hides. If you wanted a little bit more dexterity, then you could use leather gloves. Or if you wanted to be tankier, deal slightly less damage, then you could run reinforced. All of the options are good. You just have to try to figure out what exactly you're wanting for your build based off of the other gear that you have. But in my opinion, I really like this setup right now, other than I would trade out the heavy boots for adventure boots.
Right, as far as talking about playstyle real quick, I just want to let you know to first go into your settings if you're running drums, go into the options and turn these two settings on. It makes it a whole lot easier because whenever you throw a drum, it'll just automatically go to the next one in the slot. That's why I have all three drums on my right side. And if you bring one or two more just for fun or you have Francisca's or throwing axes or something like that, it'll automatically reload starting from the top left. So just press four and you'll have your next drum or your throwing axes as long as those are in the top left of your inventory. Other than that, Think of yourself as sort of a Slayer fighter. You have Accelerando instead of Sprint. You have a crossbow just like them. You have a Falchion and Shield, and you also have drums. That's what puts you at a slight advantage against fighters and barbarians. You hit them with a crossbow, you throw all your drums at them, hopefully hit one or two. Shriek of weakness, and you should be able to beat them in melee. The only tough fight for you is a PDR fighter. With that, I would definitely recommend trying to land a couple crossbow shots if you can. If not, it can get a little iffy. If you want to see me using this build, I actually have a video out. I think it's called Is Bard the New Slayer Fighter? The only difference with that is I wasn't running Den of Darkness and I had Allegro instead of Accelerando because I was still sort of testing the build at that time. Moving on to Buff Ranger. We have all of the same perks. The only difference is instead of running reinforced instruments, we have a choice between Rapier Mastery and Dancing Feet. I've been playing this character in duos a lot, and so I have Rapier Mastery equipped because it helps me finish the fights a lot more effectively. If you're playing in solo, Dancing Feet is definitely a much safer option because gaining 10 move speed while you're playing Lament of Languor and gaining positive move speed when you're playing Shriek of Weakness if you have at least a blue flute is really, really nice for kiting. And the whole purpose of this build here is to use your survival bow as much as you can. Hopefully get the kills with it. If people get into melee range, you can finish them with the rapier. I like to do that because I like playing in melee. But this whole build purpose is to just be a ranger who has their own buffs. Once again, I'm just going to start off showing the core of the build. And that is Rousing Rhythms, Beats of Alacrity, Ballad of Courage, Aria of Alacrity, the Men of Langwar and Shriek of Weakness. I already talked about all those songs. The only difference here is we're not running Harmonic Shield because we shouldn't necessarily be fighting in melee. We want to kite and do as much damage as we can possibly in a range first. The two songs that I would add next are Accelerando, again because we want to kite so we want increased movement speed, and Allegro. This is basically just quick fire on a ranger and it helps us shoot our survival bow so fast, but it also increases the speed of our rapier if we have to fight in melee, and it swings really fast when it finally stacks up to the third one. As far as stats and gear goes, this build is actually slightly easier to pull off. What I try to at least aim for is 105 health, 30 dexterity, 20 to 25 resourcefulness, 20 strength, and anywhere from at least 5 to 10% physical damage bonus. Any higher you get on those stats is amazing, but honestly just getting at least that much will make you effective. The only other thing is while you're building like that, you also want to try to stay as close to 300 move speed as you can. I think I'm at 297 here and that's honestly fine for me because with Rousing Rhythms and Beats of Alacrity, that puts us at 308 plus whatever we get when we use Accelerando. Dexterity is 100% your best stat, followed by physical damage bonuses, and then I would try to get resourcefulness last. And I usually put my cape on last, which is why I have the resourcefulness cape, because I realized I didn't have any. Dexterity will increase how quickly you attack, and it will also increase how quickly you play your songs. Physical damage bonus, because we're not always going to be able to avoid fights. And honestly, our survival boat is our best weapon, so make sure you have at least a decent one. I would try to get at least blue rarity with some sort of physical power bonus or weapon damage. The one I have right now has both, which is amazing. They're usually pretty cheap in trade because not many classes want survival bows. And then resourcefulness is great because it increases how long your songs last on you because of the stat called persuasiveness. And it also increases your interaction speed. That's why a lot of people would consider this rat bard because you're just running around, you're opening chests, you're opening doors as quick as you can. You don't necessarily need to fight if you get enough resourcefulness. But what used to make this build a lot better was dexterity also increased your interaction speed. Now it doesn't and agility does. So if you wanted to trade out your cloth pants for loose trousers or something like that, you could. I'd prefer to still have the dexterity though. And I know I already touched how to play this build 
but it's basically just a ranger. You're going to want to round, make sure all your buffs are on. If you could Lament of Langwar someone as they get close to you, great. If you could Shriek a Weakness and keep shooting your Survivor Bow, that's even better. But basically, you're just going to want to keep kiting people. If you can cast Allegro, if you can cast Accelerando before a fight because you know people are there, that's amazing. But you don't really honestly even need to use those spells. You could just run around and shoot people down and keep at a distance. And that's all you really need to do. So my final thoughts on these builds are that both of them are really strong in their own respective ways. And if you want to play Bard, just figure out which one you like more based on your play style or play both. And you basically have two classes in one. If you'd rather be in melee, run Battle Bard. If you'd rather just run around and be a ranger and use a survival bow, if you have really good accuracy, play buff ranger. And as always, I just want to thank each and every person who came and watched my content. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you could just do one thing for me, if you could like this video, if you could comment on it, or if you could subscribe to the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Anything and everything helps. And I'm trying to make as many videos as I can. So if you subscribe, then it'll let you know every time I put one out. It'll be great for both of us. I hope you all have a great day and peace.